Shine, this is week one of an eight part weightlifting series and week one we're going to cover squats. That includes back squats, front squats, and overhead squats. Now if you're a beginner or intermediate, improving your squats will drastically improve your lifts. And basically if you improve your back squats, it will get your overall strength up. If you improve your front squats, you'll be able to stand up and clean a little better. And for overhead squats, of course, it helps you standing up with your snatch. Alright, three important components to remember throughout all squats, very similar. Uh, one is keeping an upright torso, making sure that when you're squatting down, this torso stays upright and you're not pushing back and leaning forward, or not into your toes and leaning back. Uh, making sure that when you're in the hole, uh, you don't sit for too long in the hole, making sure that you get a nice strong back and coming up straight. And the third thing is making sure that your tempo goes slow, fast, and slow. So in the beginning when you're coming down, descent is slow, and the hole is fast, and slow coming up. Okay? All right, so applying those principles to the back squat, making sure that our feet are flat on the ground, upright torso, we're coming down slow, shins going forward, fast, slow. One more time, sideways, trying to keep an upright torso, engaging your back and your legs, going down slow, upright torso, and fast, slow. All right. All right, so for everyone that has longer femurs or longer thigh bones and a shorter torso, you want to make sure that your knees are always tracking forward and you're going to have to force your knees a little further forward past your toes than the average person. Okay, so for an average person, if you want to check your femur uh, length relative to your torso, you drop down, hinge at the hip, and when you drop your shoulder down to around where your, patella, where your kneecap is, um, for people that have really long femurs and short torsos, you're going to see that your shoulder maybe ends up uh, midway or the 33 quarters on your thigh, like maybe here, and then you got a lot of thigh left. So for those people, guys and girls, you want to make sure that you are feet, feet are planted, and when you're going down, keep your torso upright, you really need to push that knee forward. And if you lack that ankle flexibility, what you can do is just grab some weight, drop down into the squat, making sure your heels are touching the ground, and really allowing that weight to sink in and push that knee forward, but still keeping that heel on the floor. Uh, you can do this barefoot, it works a little better, uh, but I just have weightlifting shoes now. Too lazy to take it up. All right. All right. Uh, another common thing that most people find during their full squats is that they have a bit of a butt wink. And what that is is when you drop down, your hips and your pelvis tilt, and you kind of just have that relaxing motion where your butt kind of just drops. Uh, and how to fix that, usually it's just tight hamstrings. So you want to make sure that you, before you do anything, you know, straighten out your leg, reach for your toes, nothing too fancy. Just stretch out your hamstrings on both sides. Hold for at least two minutes and then try it again. Really focus on engaging uh, everything at the bottom. Make sure your back is tight, your lower, you're using your lower back to support yourself and you're not just relaxing because that ends up uh, curving your lower back and making sure uh, that it's really hard to keep an upright torso. So you really you know, make sure you engage everything and stretch your hamstrings. Okay, front squats. So front squats, you want to basically hold your clean uh, grip Distance, so that's usually, I put that thumb on the line, take it away, and hold it up. You want to rest it on right behind your uh, deltoids by your neck, and then you want to try and get that full hand in and hook it on place and just keep your elbows up. All right, so for a front squat, you kind of want to focus on getting the knees out and dipping and dropping into the hole, slow, fast, slow again. And with the front squat, because the weight's in front of you, especially if I have heavier weights on there, and pull you forward and that's going to push you into your toes a little more especially when you're coming out of the hole for example i don't want to do uh, i don't want to be coming forward so you want to really keep your weight in your heels in your heels and one more time here and keeping your elbows up try and hold on to the bar slow fast slow all right all right, for overhead squats. Now, overhead squats, you wanna hold it in the snatch grip, uh, which is, fingers are usually around that outer ring, uh, and everyone's a little different based on relative to how long your arms are. Uh, now you wanna do overhead squats, arms extended, lock out your elbows, and that arm is by your ear, head slightly forward, drop down again, so fast, sorry, slow, fast, slow, one more time. Slow, fast, slow. All right, the important thing for this one is for a lot of people, they don't have that uh, thoracic extension, keeping that upright torso. So you'll see a bit of uh, rounding in the back. So what we're going to do is work on stability 
uh, and a bit of flexibility in the T-spline. So this one I like to do with a foam roller, and you just need something to anchor your arms down. So that looks good. So put that right around your upper back, and we're going to reach for, oh, there's a bar. Reach for the bar. We're just going to take a deep breath in. All right, that cracked my back. And then the next thing is you want to work on a bit of stability. So you can do some hollow back, hollow backs right here. So reach out, arms, feet, lift, hold. And you can do rocks, working on a bit of stability. All right, so that's going to build your upper back strength, keeping that upright torso for your overhead squats. And that's it for the squats week one.